Hi guys, Robbie and Happy New Year. I think we all want to forget about 2020 and move on to 2021. And I thought this would be a good opportunity to look at travel within the Philippines or to the Philippines for 2021. So the big question for 2021 is when is the Philippines going to reopen for international tourists? And in this video, I'm going to try and answer that. So the biggest news at the moment in the Philippines is the banning of some countries from entering in the Philippines temporarily. So this only applies to people who are allowed to enter into the Philippines at this stage. The tourists are still out, but this is like people have got business visas in the Philippines. From those countries, they're not allowed to enter. So when is the Philippines going to open to international travel? Well, let's have a look at first what's happening in the Philippines. And that's going to give you a picture of why things are happening like they are. One of the first factors is numbers. So going straight to the COVID-19 cases in the Philippines, on the Philippines Department of Health page, the numbers are inching up to half a million cases. There was 886 new cases as of the 29th of December. The total active cases stands at 23,348. The graph does show the numbers has passed a peak, but it's still averaging around 1,000 to 2,000 new cases a day. In the last few days, it has been just under 1,000 though. Still bad numbers, but a bit more encouraging. COVID deaths has been low, but nonetheless, it still does put a strain on the healthcare system here. The Philippines has the second highest COVID cases in Southeast Asia behind Indonesia. So I think those figures alone are gonna put some people off wanting to travel to the Philippines anyhow, until those numbers get down a bit. So the Philippines has also been trying to set up travel bubbles with other countries. I think they're more aiming towards Asian ones at the moment uh, with low COVID-19 cases but the trouble is I think the other countries are going to look at the cases in the Philippines and think no way. So as I mentioned in one of my previous videos the Lapu Lapu government was trying to organize a travel bubble with South Korea to get tourists into Mactan Island. I think that's fallen through. South Korea in the meantime had a spike in cases so I think it's just too early to do stuff like this. The COVID vaccine hasn't been rolled out to enough peoples yet so I think that has to get through the system a bit more before we can think about traveling to the Philippines again. The Philippines is still struggling with COVID-19. The country is in recession. Unemployment did rise to 17.7 percent in the first quarter but it has decreased to 8.7 by the third quarter. Still high numbers though. The article also goes on to say how the lockdown policies have been inconsistent throughout the country, as well as the contact tracing has not been improved. The Philippines has also extended the quarantine period to the 31st of January 2021. The country has been on some type of quarantine since mid-March 2020. While not as strict as before, there are still many protocols to follow. And as I've shown before, the COVID-19 numbers have been consistently high. So the quarantine hasn't kicked the COVID numbers in the butt. So getting the vaccine is extremely important. The new strain of the virus has prompted the government to say they may introduce stricter lockdowns again if this new strain does spike. And what are these new mutations of COVID-19? Will the vaccine actually work against it? From what I've read, most experts are saying it should, but that's only a should. But they do say that new vaccines could be made if the virus does mutate. So with all that being said, I don't think the country is ready yet for international tourism. So let's have a look at domestic tourism and to see how that's going and how that's going to affect international travel. And then we'll have a look at how likely it is when international tourists will be allowed back into the country. So domestic tourism is still struggling. And I'll show you what I mean with Boracay. I like to use Boracay as an example, as it's one of the top tourist spots in the Philippines and recently reopened. The number of tourists coming though have been atrocious. They were hoping for good numbers for the Christmas peak season. So far, as for the first two weeks of December, numbers were 4,358 tourists. That averages out about 300 tourists per day. Horrible numbers for peak season and it's like down 90% what they usually get. The article does say it was triple the November figures which honestly was easy to do since November numbers were just so bad. And that's why domestic tourism is failing here. It's just not doing well because between islands, it's quite difficult to travel. So for me to go to Boracay, I've got to do a COVID-19 test. Then I've got to quarantine myself for 72 hours. It cost me 4,000 peso or around that to get it done. If you're a local, they'll subsidize you by 50%, but you've got to sign all these forms online. So between islands, it's, it's difficult. And that's why I think they need to set up some type of travel bubble 
inside the Philippines between certain islands with low COVID-19 cases and I could travel to say Bohol without all taking this COVID-19 test. It would make it so much easier to get there and that would encourage tourists to go into Ireland and domestic travel and that would definitely improve domestic tourism here. This all points to the vaccine being a high priority here to opening up the Philippines again. I think that also means that the vaccine is probably going to be mandatory to into the Philippines, we'll see on that. So as far as the time frame, it doesn't look like it's gonna be anytime soon, probably earliest mid-year to end of 2021. Obviously barring any curveballs that happens with the COVID-19 in the meantime, it's something to watch and we'll see what happens later on in the year. I have done other videos on this subject if you wanna check out my channel to see those, or I also do reviews of hotels and resorts here in Cebu, so I'll put up some links if you wanna have a look at those. Until then, keep safe and I'll catch you next time. Cheers.